do they? How great he is. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. I woke up this morning with, He is faithful. Do you know that song? He is faithful to our promise. Can you play that? Oh. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> uh, uh, forgetting what lies yes. behind. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah, got a mic there. To, uh, we'll mic you up. Thanks, Evelyn. I had a great vision while, I, while we were praising and praying, and I was praying in the Spirit. I couldn't help it. But as I was praying in the Spirit, I saw all these people going through these gates, and there were quite a lot of them. And they were going through these gates, but the gate was closing. And Jesus was crying because he wanted the lost in his, uh, he wants the lost in his castle, in his palace. Yes. And he's saying, please pray, please praise me. Pray like you've never done before to bring these in before the gates close. And that's what I got this morning. Oh, amen. Well done. <laughs> praise God. Well, there's an urgency. There's an urgency. Pray. Pray like you've never prayed before. Pray like you've never prayed before. There is an urgency. Oh, sorry, mate, you're chasing me around the block, eh? <laughs> Praise God. Pray like you've never prayed before. The Lord's been speaking to me about prayer. Can you play that song for me? You're going through your notes there, son. <laughs> He's faithful. He is faithful. He's faithful to us. He will never, ever let us down. He's faithful. Speak it out. He is faithful. You know, he's faithful. You know, your belief is based on the fact that he is faithful. It's based on the very fact that he died for you. He's faithful. So when you pray, believe you're going to receive because he's faithful. He is faithful. Say it. He is faithful. He woke me up this morning. He said, I'm faithful. He is faithful. And on the basis of that, you're saved. Amen. Amen. You know, you could be doing lots of worse things here on earth, but I want to tell you, if you set your heart to pray, you couldn't spend your time any better because it goes on to eternity. You're actually praying into eternity because he's faithful. Amen? Thank you, Lord. We're celebrating Pentecost today. He said he was going to send us a comforter. Amen? We're celebrating Pentecost today. <laughs> Focus on him, will you? He's faithful. Put him up, will you? Put him up. Come on, son. Praise God. Are you plugged in or what? He's plugged out now. <laughs> it's finished. Ready? Keep going, keep going. Keep going. He is faithful. Amen. <laughs> he is faithful to our glory. Any words? He is able to keep us from falling in your promise. We will try. Finish your work in us. Oh, yeah. Praise God. He's faithful. He is faithful, faithful to our calling. You've been called. He is able, able to keep us from falling. For in your promise, we will try.
from falling for in your promise we will trust you'll be faithful to finish your work in us praise God you believe that he's faithful do you know your Christianity depends on what you believe? Amen? Your Christianity depends on what you believe. Are you religious or are you a Christian? <laughs> you better check it out. Are you religious or are you a Christian? Christian. Amen! Soldier. Christians are not religious people. Yes. They have a belief in their hearts. Every issue, every issue comes from your heart. Every issue comes from your heart. The Holy Spirit's been speaking into my heart. We need to focus on the miraculous again. We need to focus on faith. We need to focus. Without faith, you can't please God. He's faithful! <laughs> on the very basis of his faithfulness to you. You have what you ask. You have what you ask. <laughs> i got to tell you, I've woken up with an excitement in me this morning. I was talking to the people the other day about T.B. Joshua. Remember T.B. Joshua? Years ago, he was the rage. He passed away. He passed away at 57. That man had more miracles. He raised it. I'll never forget... I've been trying to find it, I can't find it, but they changed a whole street alongside of his church. He called it the synagogue, and everybody would think he was a Jew, <laughs> but he was a Christian. He believed the Word of God. He acted on the Word of God. You've got to act on the Word of God, not just get the Word of God. Act on the Word. If it says something in there, he's faithful. He wrote it because it's true. Oh, it's true. If he said he was going to heal you, he'll heal you. If he said he's going to deliver you, he'll deliver you. Every issue, every issue that you pray for, and if you don't pray it from the heart, you'll never see it. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Christianity is based on our heart. Your heart is, is your spirit. They both relate. They're equatable. Whenever you pray from your heart, you will see what you're praying for if you believe. He comes down the Mount of Transfiguration and he runs into his disciples. I'll give you a scriptural reference later. He runs into his disciples and they're trying to cast an epileptic spirit out of a young son, a man's son. And they can't. What an indictment. The man comes running to him and says, your disciples, I've brought them, I brought him to your disciples and they can't do it. So he can't. So he can't. Can't do it. Can you imagine how he felt? They're walking with him for three years. They see the miraculous. He's just been transfigured. He's been up with, with uh, his disciples, three of his close disciples. He gets transfigured. The power of God comes on him on the mountain. Now he comes down from the mountain full of the anointing of God. Full. You're full. Full of the anointing of God. He's on you. Don't doubt it for a second. Full. I promise I'm not going to belt people today, but I do feel like it. <laughs> Full. Full of the anointing. You've got the anointing on you, son. I tell you, the anointing's all over you. <laughs> now, You've been trying to work something out, oh, son. Sorry. <laughs> You've been trying to work this out. 
you've been trying to work out how this equates to a miracle. The anointing's on you. How do you get the miracle? How? I've got to tell you, I'm ticked with myself. Because I want the miraculous, because I know the anointing of God's on my life. And you've got the anointing of God on your life. So how does it equate to the miraculous when someone needs it? Well, I've got an answer for you this morning. Yeah, without faith we can't please him. Faith. They come down the mountain transfiguration. The man runs to Jesus and said, Jesus, what's the matter with your dopey disciples? <laughs> What's the matter with the dopes who are following you? You told them they could do this. What's the matter with them? They couldn't do it. You hearing me? Does that sound a bit like the church today? Oh, mate, I'm getting ticked off. I can't, I can't, be, I don't want to preach out of a ticked off heart. <laughs> I want to preach to encourage you to move because every one of you has the power of God in you. Everyone in this place has the power of the living God in them. You've given your heart to Christ. Everyone has the power of God in them. How do you release it? How do you equate that to helping others? We've just heard the gates are closing shortly. Pray. We need to get out there and do it. Oh, I'm sorry if I'm preaching hard to you today, but I sense the urgency. He woke me up with an urgency this morning. Pentecost. Pentecost. He woke me up with an urgency in my heart. Souls are going to hell because we're lazy. Because we don't believe what we've got. We have everything. Everything. Every promise pertaining to life has been given to us. Every promise pertaining to life. You've got the anointing all over you, son. Oh, you have. Yeah, you have. You have, and so have you. Give me, give me. Father God, I just thank you right now, Father. I touch this man. This man is one of the most talented men I've ever met. And I want to say this to you right now. The anointing is what you've got to tap into. The anointing is what he's going to give you. He wants you to be anointed. He wants you anointed. He wants to an release that anointing that's in you. And faith is going to do that. Don't stall any longer, says the Lord. Do not stall any longer. Jump into your bathers, will you? <laughs> Word from God. I'm serious. You know what I'm saying? And it's the truth. <laughs> See, he knows. <laughs> he knows. Praise God. Fulfill all righteousness. That's what it's about. You know, we can see the miraculous in our lives. We see it in the little things. We see it in the little things. Oh, glory to God. People are having marriage problems in the place. I want to tell you why. It's the unbelief in their heart. Do you know, when people get married, they love each other. Generally, it's physical. That's how it starts. But, you know, if they believe in their heart they love each other, they'll love each other, <laughs> and it'll last. Is that helping? Everything you do, you do it from your heart. Everything. When you pray to God, pray from your heart and you'll receive. Pray from your heart and you'll receive. Your heart is the wellspring of life. Guard it. Guard it. Your heart is the wellspring of life. Guard your heart. Ask God to give you a heart, a brand new heart. Ask him now, ask him in there. Just ask him and believe when you ask. He said to his disciples, they kept running to him. They said, why couldn't we do that, set that boy free? 
And he said this to them. He took them aside. They were embarrassed. They didn't want to get embarrassed. We're Christians. Don't get embarrassed. Ask God what you need. Go aside with God. Ask him. Ask him what's lacking. Praise God. Ask him what's lacking because he wants to fill you up. He's already given you all things pertaining to life that by his great and precious promises you can become partakers of that very life. Only belief, only belief. Say, I believe. I believe. See, it was their unbelief. It was their unbelief. He took them aside and they said, why can't we do this? He said, because it's your unbelief. It's your unbelief that's stopping you. I've given you everything. Remember, I'm faithful, he says. Get hold of the unbelief that's in your heart. Pull it down. Ask him to fill you with faith. You only need the faith of a mustard seed. I reckon I've got some mustard seeds in here. That's not them. We need faith. We need faith. <laughs> you don't mind, do you? <laughs> Oh, praise God. I tell you, where's the scissors? Uh huh. Forget it. They'll go everywhere. They're going to go everywhere. Ah, oh, thanks, mate. <laughs> no, right across. <laughs> Can't, right, right, right across. That's all I need. I only need one of these. I only need one of these to make a difference. <laughs> you two will use it. I can tell you what, I've got two faith guys here, and they will use it. Catch. Sorry, Phil, this is a big job. <laughs> this is a big job today. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> you got yours working already? Yeah, brother. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> You're not getting any. <laughs> you got it already. <laughs> you already got these things. <laughs> there you go. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Faith. That's all you need. Faith. Faith is the is the key. It's going to release the power of God in your life. It's going to release the power of faith. See, I'll never leave you two without. You already got it. <laughs> there you go. Faith. Faith will release it. Hey, you got one? You want that? I got one? Have you? Oh, well, there's some more for this week. You can't live on yesterday's faith. <laughs> Can you? Yesterday's faith, eh? Oop. Mate, I'm nearly falling over. There's a huge anointing right here. <laughs> Have you got some? Praise God. There you go, Mark. Here you go, bub. <laughs> Scared the living daylights out of you again? It's easy to do. Here, give me another one. Here, you got last week's faith. You can't have last week's faith. It's not going to do it. <laughs> you got a, hey? You got yours? Praise God. Thank you, Lord. God's doing something here today. He's releasing miracles in this place already. Here you go, Bubba. You want more? There you go. Who wants that one? Got it? Two will do you. You'll be, there'll be more than enough. Praise God. You know, if you've got some faith, spread it, will you? Do you want some? Yeah. Okay, close your eyes. <laughs> 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 Praise God. It's faith. We need faith in this place. Amen. We need to release faith. I'm putting mine in my Bible even if it doesn't work. All right. I want to carry the faith inside this heart. 
You know, I have faith for lots of things. I've got testimonies of how my faith has got me somewhere. But you know, I've got nothing unless I apply my faith this morning. Unless I apply my faith this morning, I have nothing. And I've seen miraculous. But every day God just says, just be normal. Don't be a religious hypocrite. You've got word in you, but you never let it loose for someone. You get hold of the word, you're just so so holding of it and not allowing it to work because you won't allow your faith to grow. Apply your faith. Believe you've got a faithful God. Apply your faith today. Let the Holy Spirit loose. Let him loose. Mm, that's very good. <laughs> Let him loose. He's here. Do you know he's here? The minute I focus on God, he's here. I've got the anointing on me. I can sense it. I've got the power of God on me. I can sense it. Do you know that? For what good is it to you if I don't release it? What good is the anointing to you if I don't release it? And how do I do that? I'm doing that right now. I'm releasing the power of God with my mouth. Amen. I'm releasing a touch of God here. Just put your hands up, will you? He's wanting you to be healed. He wants you to believe with all your heart. Believe in your heart. Believe in your heart. Believe in your heart. Believe in your heart. If you want to see... The miraculous. I'm speaking to you right now. Your children shall be released to you. You shall be restored to your children. It may be a slow process, but the Lord says, in your patience you will receive your children and they will love you because they will know that you're a woman of God. You can take that to the bank. Your mind is being released today. It's being cleared. You're being healed in the mind today, says the Spirit of God, because I am going to cause you to think with a straight mind. Oh, thank you, Lord. Healing's starting to flow in this place. God is starting to make us whole in this place. He wants us thinking straight. He wants us thinking the way he thinks. He doesn't want religious whackers. I'm sorry. It's the way I speak normally. So. He, want, he wants Christians. He wants more than that. He wants disciples, disciplined ones, people who love him and believe on him and act on his behalf and wait and believe that he's going to use them and release themselves to him and not try to make it happen. Not forever looking for deliverance, but know that you are already set free. You're set free. You've got Christ. You've got everything. The devil tries to get in and get you motivated in different areas and talk to you and say this is who you are. You're not. You're a child of the living God and God is faithful. He is faithful. Be free. Be free in him. One thing I hate is holy rollers. You know that? I just People who go around going, and now we'll pray. Be normal. <laughs> just be normal. He took you the way you are. He took you the way you are with all your idiosyncrasies. I'm not looking at you. <laughs> I'm not looking at you. But you've all got idiosyncrasies. You cheat your normalcy and look at everybody else as if they're not normal. You're all normal. That's how he got you. You're normal. Release him, will you? Release him in you to be who you are. Can you do that? Praise God.
What do you say? The time's coming. Luke 9, 27. I'm going to start preaching now. Luke 9, 27. What's it say? It says, I tell you the truth. There are some standing here who shall not taste death till they see the kingdom of God. In another scripture it says the kingdom of God coming with power. With power. Say with power. With power. Matthew 27, what's that say? For the Son of Man will come in the glory of his Father with his angels. Let's go and have a look. Thank you, Lord. It's not the one. You know, I like preaching about the power of God because I've seen it often in my life. And there's other times I haven't when it's needed. When the power of God's needed, I'm searching myself to find out what it is I have to do. So always start with yourself. Don't look at the poor person. They may not know a thing about God. <laughs> start with yourself. Search your heart. Say, I'm going to search my heart. Because whatever started in your heart is going to release power. Don't ask for power. You've already got it. Do you hear me? Don't ask for the power of God. You've already got the power of God. Ask him to show you how to release it. Ask him to show you how to release it. Amen. You need to know that faith is the key that unlocks that door. Faith will unlock that door. I, I can remember, actually, Bricky was with me. Bricky was with me. There's a pastor who's built like a gorilla over, up at the Riverland. <laughs> if he hears this, I'm not naming him. <laughs> oh, I may as well. He goes by the nickname Red. <laughs> so I won't tell you his real name. <laughs> Mark. <laughs> Mark. Mark's a beauty. Mark's built like a tank. He's a lot smaller now than what he was. He's been slimming down. But he's a wonderful man of God. And we were at his place. I can remember we were there one day. And um, we were talking about the power of God. And we were in his kitchen. And the Holy Spirit said to me, he said, um, do you realize that this man likes Indian wrestling? He's never been beaten on that river land, Indian wrestling. And I was standing there, so I said to him, I said, listen, mate, I said, they tell me you're, you like Indian wrestling. He said, no, I've never lost an Indian wrestle. I said, is that right? I said, can I have an Indian wrestle with you? <laughs> and I said, see these skinny little arms? Skinny. You want to be careful with these arms. <laughs> skinny. His arms are bigger than my legs. <laughs> His arms were like <laughs> three times the size of my legs. And he said, Raph, he said, I'll snap your arm off. I said, do you think you'll snap my arm off? I said, well, I'm going to beat you. <laughs> I'm going to beat you. And I didn't look at my limitations because I was listening to the Lord who told me to do this. <laughs> Bricky's astounded. He's sitting next to me. Am I right? <laughs> and, and he was looking at me, funny, and I said, I'm going to beat this bloke. So we had an Indian wrestle, and guess what? He beat me. He didn't have to apply too much pressure, and I was, I was, I was trying. <laughs> I said, oh, I know what it is. 
That's my good arm. <laughs> Try my weak arm. Try my left arm. And so he goes, <laughs> you know, like, what's the matter with this dude? He's a duh. So he's got my weak arm and he gets me down to about there. Hey, further, further, nearly there. I said, Lord, I need the anointing. Mm, boom. It was like that. Was it? I might. <laughs> yeah. Boom. And I didn't hurt. I, I tried not to hurt him. <laughs> so it's true. It's, I, I was going to. I was going to. I was going to preach about Samson. <laughs> oh, right? Yeah, this was real. This, I'm telling you something that's real, exactly. You know, he, it was a terrible time for him because one of his elders walked in at that time. They're going, <laughs> and they're in shock. And he, he was in total shock. And, um, and he said, that wasn't fair, Raf. He, he said, I know. I said, but I got the anointing on my life. And so have you. And I'm telling you, you've all got the anointing on your lives. Then I got every muscle man and his dog coming wanting an Indian wrestle me. <laughs> so I said to him, you beat him first and you'll get a shot at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not silly. <laughs> But the Lord taught me something that day, and he taught us all something in that kitchen that day, that we can call on the anointing, that we can, if, if you can learn how to turn the key, the anointing is on you all, the power of God is on you all. You've got power to receive money when you need it. You've got power to receive healing when you need it. You've got power to receive reconciliation when you need it. You've got power to be healed. You've got power to cast devils out. when you need it. Oh, thank you, Lord. Father, I just want to pray something over this congregation. I want to pray, Father, give them the realisation of who they are and of your faithfulness to them, Lord, and how they can tap in for the power to come. that it's by faith, and faith the size of a mustard seed will do it. Because it's a belief system. Christianity is a belief system. It's a belief in your heart. It's a believing in God, what God says in your heart. He berated his disciples who were with him and said, it's your faith. It's your unbelief. He says, this type comes out by prayer and fasting. You hearing me? This type of what? Not demon. They're low-level demons. They're high-level demons. But you have the power to overcome them all. Because it's not a power question. The power's already on you. The power's already on you. You're born again, spirit-filled, water-walking, faith-talking pastor. Amen? Do you know you're all pastors? You're all priests and kings before God? When we read the Bible, we just don't take this in. You can command things. And see it come to pass, if only you can believe. What does that say? And since we had the same spirit of faith, yes, 2 Corinthians 4, amen, the same spirit of faith, what we say we'll have, if you believe. Doubt not. He said, nothing's impossible to you. Nothing. Nothing is impossible. That means nothing. Oh, glory to God. Our faith levels are going to go up in this place. Amen. Praise God. Who has a need right now? There's someone here in great pain in their shoulder. Who's that? Who's that person? They've got pain in their shoulders. Up there? 
Okay, now close your eyes. I don't want you to doubt for a second or open your mouth again today. So I'm sorry. It's, that's come straight out. Healing's already on your shoulder. Praise God. What's this, Evelina? <laughs> What's this? Did you see that? Gentle pat. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You're going to help me. Come on. Really? Yeah. Praise God. The anointing's on you, Chris. The anointing's on you. Close your eyes. Yeah. Praise God. Okay. I want you to look straight over here, right over here, just here. Yep. Okay. There's a word for yep. one of those people right in your range yep. there. Yep. Yep. Go, speak it out. Uh, norm. norm, do not be dismayed in this day. Praise God. <laughs> this prophecy been released. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah, amen. Amen. Say, Keith, stay there. Stay there. Mate, the spirit of prophecy is on you, buddy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Close your eyes again. Yeah, go, go, go again. Go. Yeah, speak it out. Don't think about it. Jeff, Jeff, I tell you, says the Lord. <laughs> Jeff, I tell you, says the Lord. For you have not seen the anointing and the power that I'm going to pour through you in, in the worship. For it is coming to a place where the glory is going to fill this church. For there is a newness coming in this church, and it's shakarasatabara, and says the Lord, it's coming through you, Jeff, through your worship, mate. It's coming on Sundays. Get ready for there's a newness coming in this church like you've never seen before. For you're going to be so on fire, says the Lord. This church is going to be so on fire, says the Lord. For I would have you dance in my presence, says the Lord. For you would change your ways and you would give everything to me. Not just half, but you would give everything. Your fullness, your full <laughs> heart. Dance around for joy for, joy. for I died for you, says the Lord. Dance yeah. around, says the Lord. Jump up and yeah. down because I've forgiven you, says the Lord. Hey. Amen. Get ready. Amen. Get ready. Let's Amen. Go. Well done. Go sit down. Come out here, Rody. <laughs> Praise God. Here it comes. Close your eyes. Look out there. Grab that. That's yours. Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. God's releasing things here today. Okay, just speak it out. Just point and just point. Don't even look. Just point yeah. and speak. I've called you by name. You are my daughter. You are my son. Praise God. You don't need to fear. Thank you, Lord. For I am with you, and I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I have called you by name. You are my sons and daughters. Thank you, Father. And I love you. Thank you, Lord. And I just declare right now, this is no weapon formed against you shall prosper. I'm just sighting this up, see where it's going. (laughs) No weapon formed against you shall prosper. (laughs) Glory to God. Amen. Well done, mate. Well done. Just stay there. Stay there. Close your eyes again. Thank you, Lord. See, God's spontaneous. He's not religious. He's spontaneous. Amen. The Holy Spirit is spontaneous. He cuts across your normal thinking. Praise God. Okay, go again. Point anywhere you like and just go for it. It'll hit home. Okay, that lady over there. Yep. Can I speak to her? I just sense God saying that you don't need to work anything out. He's got it. You're trying to work things through, but he's got you. He's got you in the palm of his hands. He loves you. You just need to rest in him, trust him, rest in him. Amen. And believe him at his word. Amen. Amen. Praise God. You got more in you? Just keep, stay up here. Praise God. God's releasing things here today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Karama Sandara Praise Jesus. Okay, point out. Go on, don't think about it. I just sense... 
Uh, uh, this guy here? Yeah. I can't God's think of his something. name. God's doing something. Rod. Rod. I think there's a, something's happening. There's a spiritual exercise happening. Hey. Sorry, sorry. There's an exercise of something. God, God's in the physical and in the spiritual. <clears throat> he's exercising. You're, you're strengthening you oh, for something new. Something's coming. Something new's coming for you. A new stage. A new, a new chapter, says the Lord. And I'm strengthening you. In the physical, you're doing physical exercise, but in the spiritual, I am strengthening you for this next phase, for what I've got for you. I just feel the anointing right on that, right, right on that. He's got a plan for your life for this next chapter. It's a next chapter. Amen. Do not fear. Do not give up. Do not give up. Keep on pushing forward, yeah. and you're going to step into it. Good boy. Well done. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's got a new chapter in your life, buddy. <laughs> you've been called for time such as this, says the Lord. You've been speaking the word wherever you've been going. Oh, families have come against you, says the Lord. Your own families have come against you, but the Spirit of God says, I'm raising you up. I'm raising you up. They don't know they had a prophet in their midst, says the Spirit of God. You've just come back from a trip and God says they came against you, but I'm restoring. I'm restoring in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. It's yours, brother. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Alan Bell, stand up, will you? Praise God. It's a time of restoration. This year is a year of restoration. God says the ministry gifts you haven't been able to practice, he says, are now about to be released again to you. Amen. He says, I've had to do a work in your heart, a heart work, to be able to release you to this level. He says, I'm taking you through the levels. Your faith, you're a man of faith, says the Spirit of God. But now I want you to be a man of faith with hearing, hearing when he tells you to move because that's what's being released to you right now. You're going to have a, a greater level of hearing and when you add your faith to it, the miraculous is going to come because it's already on you. You've been set apart for this. This is what you've been set apart for, the miraculous. And it's ne never, never just about supply, says the Lord. It's got to do with healing and with deliverance and releasing people into the things that they've been called for because I'm going to speak clearly to you, says the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Pentecost. We're in Pentecost. Do you know that? Yeah. Father, I just thank you, Lord. We're in Pentecost. You know, he's knocking the carnal off a lot of people. My God, we all need it. Knocked off, don't we? I don't know about you, but I do. The carnal nature. My carnal nature is still strong. Don't look at me like I'm something. Because I'm in the same boat as you are. I want to go to the next increment. I want to go to the next level. And if I don't grow my faith at this point, I'll never get to that, that area. My faith is what releases the miraculous in me and people around me. My faith in the word of God, my faith in what he says, my faith in him walking with me. You can see the miraculous. Stand up, will you? Praise God. Oh, thank you, Lord. Close your eyes. Everything you've set your heart to do, you've done to a very high level, says the Spirit of God, because that's what drives you. You've been a fighter, but you've got a heart that's soft, says the Lord. I'm going to use that. He says he's got your heart in his hand. He says you've been obedient to what you know is right, and he's brought you to this place of knowing what's right. Now he's about to release it with power. Whenever you go, <laughs> oh, oh, glory. I see you driving past the shopping centres and feeding the poor. I see that you stop and you're arrested by people with needs. And God says, that's a good thing, but I'm going to give you the best thing. I'm going to give you the very, very best thing. That's a good thing to do, but I'm going to take you past that. I'm going to grow you past that, says the Lord. The anointing of God's coming on you right now. Praise God. 
is the anointing, the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Because you're going to find God's perfect will and you're going to be understanding of what to do with it, says the Spirit of God. It's been released to you today in Jesus' name. It's been released to you today. Oh, thank you, Lord. Maybe you're going to be walking and hopping and dancing and doing the poker or whatever that is. <laughs> is that what you like doing? Da, 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 da. <laughs> Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. I, actually, we had things to do. Hang on, we've got things to do. <laughs> I've got to get serious. We've got all these beautiful cakes made by Anna Kett today to celebrate Pentecost Sunday. Is that correct? Hey, whose birthday is it? Whose birthday is it? Yeah. Holy Spirit in us, exactly. 72 years in the Holy Ghost. Is that it? Okay. Well, she's made some cakes, so we're going to have communion with cakes today. Can we do that? Yeah. Amen. Who wants a hand about? Who's, who, who have you got? There? Who, who, have, you, who have you appointed, Bob? Yeah? Ah, oh, they're all eager today. Um, okay. Two of you, run up, grab the cakes and hand them out. Come on, can just grab, mate? Yeah, you, you have not because you're... Yeah, there's three. <laughs> hey? Yeah, it's mustard icing today. Sorry, mate, I thought it was sweet today. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Yes, go and grab the other plate. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. It's a bit different today, isn't it? Anybody want grapes? We'll get... Anybody else come and pass these grapes out, will you? Come on, come running out and grab a little up. Another year, grab. Just take the grapes. There you go. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Faith. Faith is the key. Faith is the key to releasing the power of God in you. Faith is your key. I want to pray the Lord give each and every one of you boldness to act in faith this week. Praise God. Give me a hand. I want you to prophesy of your situation right now. Close your eyes. Just go. Whatever you need from God, you're asking him for, do it now. Unity. I see a unity. Unity, says the Spirit of God in your household. Unity. I break the power of all division that's come against your house. And I speak unity in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Is that what you're asking for? Take it to the bank. It's yours. It's yours. Thank you. Just prophesy it. Prophesy it much over your life, will you? Driving home when you're home. Unity. You're a woman of faith. God's telling me, and I know, I've known, how many years have we known you? It's at least 16 years, isn't it? And actually, if ever you want someone to pray for you, ask this woman to pray for you, because <laughs> she does not let go. She does not let go. Amen? She doesn't let go. My God, it's good to see you here, buddy. Yeah, good to see you. Talk to you after. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Karibasia karamashende rebo sandara valai. Ye ramasu rebaya karabasandara. We'll do TV Joshua next week <laughs> because I couldn't help myself. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you. I'm after the cakes. <laughs> oh, yes. You all got a cake? Did they give you a cake? Bless your heart. Mate, this is fantastic. Did you? Oh, I know. You put it on there. Thank you. I thought someone knocked it off. <laughs> See, you think. Thank you, Lord. Father, we come to this communion table right now on Pentecost Sunday. 
and ask for the empowering of the Holy Spirit in each and every life in this place. Father, as we come to this communion table, we're going to pray believing. Remember the key, okay? When you pray, doubt not. When you pray, believe. Jesus told them the unbelief was stopping the miracle. But the belief, the belief in the Lord being faithful to us, that he told us the truth and we believe it and we claim it. Now when we pray, and we're going to pray for Henrietta's husband, Ben, who's been rushed to hospital an hour ago, be roughly. And we're praying for his total healing of his heart and his arteries and any angina, Father God, we just speak life to it right now. Now believe it in your heart. I'm speaking this expecting a call straight after this meeting, okay? Expecting a call straight after this meeting. So when you pray, pray like that, expecting to receive it. We're going to release the power of God in this situation. Amen. Father, I just thank you. I don't know about you, I'm going to have the grape first, have the cake second. You can do it any way you like. But please partake of it. We're celebrating the Holy Spirit today. An incredible faith, amen. Thank you. Can someone grab one of those cakes and put it on Nisa's table for all she, she's gone to get dinner? <laughs> There's chicken and chips on today. We've lost our cook for the day. He's backslidden to another church. <laughs> <laughs> And taking the boys with him. But we'll still eat today. Father, I just thank you, Lord. I give you honour and glory for what you're doing in this house. In Jesus' name. As we partake of this bread and the wine. And thank you for such sweet bread today. Father, as we take hold of that today. We remember what you did and we remember your faithfulness in Jesus' name. And all the saints said, Amen. Hmm.